it's coming. In any case, very much welcome to Jimmerism Total Notary channel. And this is, uh, well, we're going to look at some fantastic vehicle mod. This is LFS Planes, which is a very awesome plane mod, which add, it adds, yeah, okay, it adds planes, okay. So it's very cool and all, and we're going to check it out, and I just spawned them here very untidily. But these are the models and crafts that are included in the main pack, so to say. Um, plus, okay, that, that's a Spitfire, and it's evil. It wants to kill us. In any case, uh, it also has AI integration, so uh, you can actually make any of these planes AI fighters, and they will battle you. If uh, You can also set them to, I think it's three different teams, so that's cool and all. Uh, we uh, even have this, it's a vehicle spammer, and if we click C and right click on this, we can make it uh, spawn a selected model here, which is cool. But we're not going to do that just yet. Um, well, here we have, uh, we can just uh, see if they will battle each other. Oh god. Also, they can be destroyed and stuff, so it's very nice. We can have different skins on them too, which is nice. Okay, so edit properties and we select it to Team Zero. Yes, here we can see that we have a pilot inside too. And I believe that uh, these will be enemies. So we'll see if it managed to take off. And you can see, I mean, it's really well made airplanes. They look so cool. It seems to lift at a pretty slow speed, but uh, hey. Okay, let's see what it will do. The wheels, the wheels. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I mean, uh, the AI is working well. It doesn't mean it's uh, super intelligent, but we shall see here. I think that we'll go to battle. It probably takes some time, so we're going to look into the vehicles. But I think the main thing, oh, here, here we have aerial battle. That's pretty cool. It seems it's already pretty sad. Uh, in any case, What's pretty nice about this is, of course, the more fun is to drive the vehicles yourself. So let's select with uh, some some of the classics. This is uh, the uh, the noob airplane number one, the Cessna, and you can jump into them by clicking E. If you click sh uh, Alt E, you get into the co-pilot seat. Oh lords! Oh god! I think I think we're soon wrecked. Let's let's just spawn a quick new one <laughs> before we die. So we can just get into it and you start airplane by clicking R and you have to face forward to do that. You have a control, you can uh, shift the different vehicles uh, like uh, yeah. You can control what did I say? W increases the speed and control shifts the view here. Uh, also, if you don't want to steer with your mouse all the time, you can hold alternative and then you have free look mode. Don't drive into the walls, because then you'll die. Should decrease our speed a little bit. And, uh, whoa! Scary stuff. In any case, um, it's, uh, it's a very beautiful, it's a very beautiful mod. The map is, uh, by the way, Boreas, classic already, uh, but uh, check my map reviews for that. But in any case, um, we control the airplane by mainly our mouse, just like this, and of course they will get damaged. You can also shut down the engine in air, and you still have some control. Uh, shift actually controls the like lifting flaps like this. I think we should start the engines. Yep, indeed. Also, for the helicopters and stuff, we have VTOL mode on shift. Uh, yeah, 
So I mean that's the basic controls and of course then we have uh, A and D is roll, so we can do rolls also. We kind of do all auto roll sometimes when we use the mouse. Oh god. Gotta save the situation. Where are we? Oh god. Yeah, so um <laughs> it's very nice though. Uh, on space we can use landing gear, but this Cessna has a, has a fixed landing gear, so we don't have to think about that. Indeed. And that, 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 that happens when you get shot down. You die. Which is a nice feature, of course. It's very nice. Um, and also if you drive into something too hard, you will also die. So that's something to you know. That's something that uh, when you build planes yourself with ACS, ACF and stuff, it doesn't have this feature because you can survive. I think that's a Spitfire. Let's uh, see if we can challenge it with the E one hundred and nine BF. So oh god, just click E, automatically closes. Start the engines. Hold, we can hold W. Might want to hold shift so we can look around when we try to lift. Click a little bit of shift there so we get up into the air. Nice. Many, many buttons to hold. So that's that's just beautiful. And when we just uh, and when we just you know steer this way and hold alt, it will just kind of fly to the normal default position so we can easily look around like that. Mouse one is of course machine guns and stuff like that. So let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's hold it. It's World War Two stuff. So the guns are mounted like this. And what's really amazing about these enemy AI planes is that they won't fly into the wall and die very easily. They're pretty smart. They're probably better than us <laughs> because we don't know the borders very man very well and also oh no the maneuver feels like pretty realistic it's a little bit uh, it's like w war thunders uh, in Garry's mod so this is probably the perfect replacement replacement for neurotech and stuff come on okay now Oh, we have extra guns on mouse 2 for this one. That's pretty cool. Oh, we forgot the landing. Oh, yeah. Now we have much more better maneuverability. <laughs> Sorry, forgot about that. Okay, let's use those flaps a little there, there to get some nice maneuver maneuvers going. Yeah, we got him. We got him so much. We're amazing. Wow. And what's pretty cool about this is that now we're so fast. I didn't understand how much the landing gear fucked us up. Uh, I mean, really, it's you don't want to fly with landing gears like that. We can even land nicely. Of course, now I have too much speed, so I'm just saved by the hill here. But yeah, I mean, that's great. You can see you have a, you have a, your player model even sits in the plane, so it's it's very nice like that, and it's just so many nice details about this. All right, let's also you can hold C and you can switch the skin to another skin if you like to. Then we can just uh, set edit properties and we can say this is you know this is now an AI. So here you see an enemy, enemy soldier is sitting in there now. So we better quickly jump into... Uh, I wanna try the Spitfire. Spitfire is also a very cool plane. Like the BF-109 uh, and, and the Spitfire is, is... I think... Oh god, not landing here. Come on. Oh god, this is bad. Hold shift. <laughs> uh, bo both of these uh, aircraft is probably... 
are favorites of mine. I like them both very much, so I'm glad they're both both included. The Spitfire doesn't have a, a secondary gun, but uh, oh lords, that was close. It does have a little rear mirror there, which is nice. Oh god, the trees. Alright. Where are we? <laughs> of course it's easy. Oh, right. <laughs> I forget about these. Indeed. And you can, of course, fly at slower speeds if you hold S a little bit. And you get the nice cruising speed. Oh lords! This is bad. I think we actually collided with them. Oh no. We can get out of this. But we're still kind of fine. <laughs> okay, let's turn off the engines. Oh god. But, uh, I mean, it's very nice. <laughs> I wonder if it can start from here as an AI. Bye. <laughs> uh. Of course, then we also have some uh, other stuff than uh, World War II planes. I guess many like World War II. Oh god, it didn't survive that. <laughs> um, we have... Uh, we have... Oh god. It's heavy. Don't stand under them. They're dangerous. Uh, we have Star Wars stuff as well. And this is some advanced stuff. Here we have the ARC-170 fighter. A classic. So if we get in here, of course that's normal. But I just wanted to show you this second little moon here. I'm just going to start it up. Great. Um, I wonder if I get damaged by this. I don't. Anyways, if you hold ALT and click E, we get into this little back gun, so we can fire like turrets there, which is cool. Now we get into the main seat here, and of course we can use free look like anything else, we can look outside as well. And we have cool Star Wars sounds. We can't use the guns, and that is because we haven't pressed SPACE! Yeah, that's pretty cool. And now we can use them. That's pretty amazing. Very cool. Ouch. Yes. They're not invincible. <laughs> don't don't fly into stuff. That still that still kills you. Yeah, so uh, we're just gonna check out the other ones. We have helicopters too. And uh, here we have the combined helicopter. And I don't know if we have the secondary gun for this. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and it's realistic like that. Okay, so that's awesome. We use double U, oh god. We need to use W to just get out of the trees here. Increase throttle, decrease throttle, and we can roll left and right with our little tail like that. And uh, if we shift, if we click shift, we have, we're in hover mode. So we can basically stand here and shoot our gun. As well as uh, this has missiles, which is cool and less, uh, more useful, I guess. Yep, helicopters, nice. We're going to, uh, actually, I think we're going to set this as a AI. Yep, just like that. 
Now it's an AI helicopter, very scary. And we also have, we have Droid Tri-Fighter. It looks awesome and uh, I kind of don't remember, I think it's... I think this is... Uh, I, I was not very good at watching the new Star Wars movies, so I, but maybe, maybe they're in there, I'm not sure. I would kind of think this is uh, Star Trek, but uh, I may be wrong here. So I, 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 <laughs> I'll just won't say what I think this is. The interior view is weird, but uh, it looks cool. This is probably works better on like space maps and stuff like this. Bam. It looks so cool. Maybe someone in the comments would like to tell me what uh, what this craft actually comes from. And that's why you don't do hard landings like that. Bye. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we have the N1 Starfighter with a cute little, uh, I was going to say Pikachu. Oh god. Uh, we already... F oh god. Oh yeah. That didn't do very well, did it? Let's spawn it again. Yep, we can click shift to hover up a little bit. Oh god. I think our uh, our uh, very very damaged enemy is still kind of dangerous. We better get out of here fast. Well, damn it! That, that <laughs> okay. That one is overpowered. Come on, we go. He kill us every time. Okay, we're on a hill now. Ouch. That didn't help, did it? Oh lord, it's coming. Oh no. Oh lord. It's damaged. <laughs> this, uh, oh yeah. Don't spawn them inside stuff. That, that, that kills ships, apparently. That thing is a little too dangerous. I don't want to deal with that. We better just take it. Come on. Holy crap. Why is it... You know, I'm a little bit stubborn here, but... Uh, I don't want to lose to... I don't want to lose the damaged AI ship. This is disturbing. Okay, now we're away. We have missiles and that. Okay, great. We're pretty fast too. There it is. Oh god, where am I? Holy shit. Oh no. It's too good. Oh no. We're going down. <laughs> okay. I'm just despawning that. The droid tri fighter is too good. <laughs> That's a surprise. In any case, here we have the P four seven D. Gotta check out the different uh, skins though. Oh god, it has so many skins. What? Different types of damage. Well, that's cool. Now it's rolling away from us, so that's a little bit sad. But we have many skins. This has actually HD interior and stuff. That's pretty cool. Uh, in any case, let's make life a little bit hard for us. So we're going to spawn this. Uh, we're going to spawn this vehicle spammer. This is now uh, a vehicle spammer. And it will spawn BF hundred nines on Team Zero. All right. 
that one died. I think we may have given them not so uh, useful. Uh, oh lords, oh lords, oh no, we're fucked. I'm surprised we didn't die yet. Probably. We need to move that landing. Yes. Maybe like this. What? And they're trying to get away. And oh no! Okay, give them a little bit more space. Okay, now let's see. This is amazing. Okay, so definitely needs a little bit more space. I don't know if they spawn in a nice angle from here. Come on. Oh. Yes. It actually gets out from there. That's good. Because we do want to spawn a few, you know. Um, so we can have a few competing teams. So we have the BF team. We're going to have a team Spitfire and spawn on the actual landing place. And uh, well, like this. And we set them to team one, maybe. We just select the Spitfire. Cool. Hmm. Maybe we can only have one of them. Not totally sure. In any case, yeah, well, so at least we set them to spawn uh, like five Spitfires. Maybe there is some setting to allow several auto spawners, but they seem to be on the same team. So, of course, we need to spawn um, some other stuff. Well, let's try this uh, P47D and see if we can survive a second in it. And this has, you know, really nice, uh, really nice like interiors and stuff. Ooh, and it has missiles. That's nice. Okay, landing gear. And flaps. Great. We're up and away. And this is probably the most high quality plane model, which is nice. Oh no. Oh, there's so many. Yeah, this is really nice. This is like... Uh... Come on! Oh, we need to slow down. Where are they? Oh, they shit. They're on those. So... The uh, slow down key is very important. Oh no! I think we just uh, wasted all our ammunition. Which is a problem. <laughs> Can we do a quick landing? Oh god. Oh no. Well, not like that. 
Okay, so we have something called Rebel Helicopter too, which is interesting. And it's a Rebel Helicopter. All right, this one. And this has actually 10 seats. Oh Lord. So if I just freeze it in the area and click. And now we're just one of the passengers there. And of course this is more of a, This is a transport helicopter. So we won't be able to show off some cool guns from this one. But uh, it does it does fly pretty well. Click the hover mode and we can just click S and we can nicely land just like that. Very nice. Easy to control. Now we have Vulture Droid. This looks kind of stuffy. Oh god. Oh lords. They still have some uh, bite. Oh no, words! <laughs> oh wow. So we can click shift to hover up and down a little bit. Lord. Oh no! So the air is now full of airplanes. Full of airplanes rocking the skies. I wonder what happens if we change this to... Uh, to... Uh, no, let's change it to these. Yeah, well anyways. Let's have a little blast in one of the Spitfires. They're really nice to control. Oh lords. Landing gear. Oh, these are blue. I think that means they're another team. Don't know if that means they're uh, also enemies to us or not. Oh well. Yeah, I think that was shooting at me. It's a very nice mod though. I would recommend uh, anyone that wants some, you know, nice airplanes, battle airplanes in, in Gary's mod. It's, this is probably the thing to do. This is probably the mod to have right now. Since Neurotech is so discontinued and broken, I think this... Uh, is as good as it gets like yeah this is as good as it gets you want neurotech is kind of so broken so you can't you can't play it so if you want neurotech but you want something that works this is uh, this is the mod so check into check it into the description anyways uh, to download it and i hope you do enjoy it this uh, little video and, and you know please leave a like if you did like it and share it to some friends if you think they should get about get to know about this little war thunder in Gary's mode mode. In any case you can post uh, some comments if you want some special mod to be looked at in future or if you just want to say what you thought about this. So yeah with that, I will say thank you very much for watching, and I will be seeing you in future videos. This is Jim Reyes from Total Nerdy Channel, officially. Very nice landing. Signing out. Have a great one. Bye.